How's everybody doing? This is Jason, KO4DDG. Hope everybody's doing well. This video is for a TID H3 Plus Handy Talkie. We got some special things here today. We got a firmware update of 1.0.41. So let's jump right into what the firmware update does. TID Plus Radio has just released their latest firmware. Let's see, they also are boasting that they update the firmware twice a month. We'll see about that, but it's kind of exciting. This firmware optimized the menu display, optimized the transmit range from 240 to 400 megahertz, and added a spectrum analyzer function. So that's interesting. Is, the SDR, is an SDR spectrum analyzer, or it just bars like the ICOM 52? We're going to check that out today. How do you update the firmware? Let's figure this one out. So you need to go to the website, TID, uh, Walkie Talkie Software. This is TID Radio. Let's search that on Google. You need to find H3 Plus here. It's right here, Ham Normal Firmware. Down here, you got download. They're going to want you to log into it. But it will save it. It will save it under your download folder. Once it gets downloaded, and you unzip it, extract it, and you follow the H3 Plus firmware update steps. To update the radio, you need to plug a USB-C cord into the side of the radio. Don't do what Jason did and plug it into the battery and wondering why it doesn't work. It needs to be on the side of the radio. Okay? All right, so we're going to plug it into the side of the radio after plugging it into the computer. They're going to want you to press the PTT button in the number three while you're powering it on. PTT three, turn it on. I'm not sure. It went so fast, I didn't see what happened. Entering mode. All right, we're in setup mode. Now we need to open up the app. Okay, I had to switch the cable out to a USB-C to USB-C for this to work. So once you do that and you have the device PID and everything like this, this is online, you can hit update. Okay. Plug the cable and we should be updated. So let's take a look at this new feature. It says press the long press 7 key. Yeah, so there's a spectrum analyzer. It says move the cursor up to move the cursor to the left. And vice versa, move the cursor the other way. Hold it down, down to move it continuous to the right. I guess that would be called scan. Nope, just holding it down. No automatic. So I'm not sure how this will be useful, but it's cool they have it on there. Pressing the PTT button tunes to the cursor frequency and monitors it.
is the menu, modulation, step frequency, threshold, cursor, bandwidth. Orange key back. Yep, we know. Orange key is back, blue key is forward. Alright, so there's that. That's how to update your firmware on the TID H3 Plus. Just be uh, looking out for new firmware and what the heck they do differently. Pretty exciting, though. Twice a month, they say. Twice a month. They did lock it down so people cannot modify it like the last. Um, modded firmware that was released for the H3. Anyway, we'll catch you all in a bit. This is Jason, KO4DDG773, and farewell. Uh -huh.